good morning. My name is Pete Sutton and I'm the marketing manager at Marathon Coach. Today we're going to do a blog entry and go up to Clear Lake, Oregon. This is for anybody who's staying at the Marathon Coach headquarters and they're looking for something fun to do for the day. And Clear Lake is a pretty neat place. Uh, you can fish there all year round. It stays pretty darn flat and calm all the time. It's, it is an extremely clear lake, just like the name implies. And you can rent boats there uh, for up to five people. It's about 40 bucks and you can rent kayaks, smaller little rowboats. Only rowboats are allowed on the lake, which is kind of a neat thing. It keeps it clear and it also uh, keeps it quiet, which makes it a, a very pristine, fun place to visit. So let's go take a look. No, it's mine. Nine. Mine. Nine. Mine. Nine. We're having a discussion, a very intellectual discussion as to who owns this actual thing for my neck. It's mine. Nine. Mine. Nine. Mine. Nine. Mine. Nine. You know, it's mine. By the way, this is Olivia, the three-year-old granddaughter. This is going to be her first Papa? day fishing. Daddy? Yes. I am Papa. Papa. Your daddy's in getting an oar for his boat. 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 All right, so it's a pretty simple trip up to Clear Lake as far as the roads are concerned. You hop on I-5 as soon as you um, head out from Marathon Coach and get onto 126. And this is the only turn here on 126 where we hit Springfield and made this turn. And now we're heading up river. From here, it's a pretty easy shot all the way. Okay, well here we are. We've just passed 2,000 feet up. Hello, Olivia. And we are within about 10 or 15 minutes. As you can see, it's a beautiful drive up. Uh, and it's a beautiful day so far. Uh, we should be there, like I said, in 15 minutes. We, we are also going to pass Saheli Falls, Kusha Falls, Tokati Golf Course, and the turn off to Belknap Springs. So once we hit Kusha and Saheli, when you're on your way up, you'll know you're close. So as you can see, we're just pulling off Highway 126 onto the Clear, La Clear Lake Road. I wanted to show you this on the way in for a couple of reasons. One is this is not for buses. Uh, you'll see here, while everything's trimmed up pretty good, uh, we're coming up on our first turn and the descent to Clear Lake at the parking lot, these are hairpin turns. Believe me, I wanted to take a coach down here for a photo shoot and take a look at this one. This is like, no, not going to happen, not with a bus. Uh, especially the second one, it's even worse. But for a car, it's just fine, obviously. It's beautiful course bathrooms here cabins here a little tiny beach area where you can park and get out to the water uh, launch your own kayak if you've got it which we did bring one today and they've got a little restaurant and a place where you can rent boats that'll be our next stop so here we are at Clear Lake. You can see uh, this is what they call a boat ramp for up here. No big heavy boats. Again, just row boats and uh, paddle boats, things like that. Um, we can also see behind me, the, there's some of the rentals that you can get and also take you down to the docks. Uh, but also before we hop on the water, we're gonna take a quick look around and show you some of the other things they've got. One other goodie that this place offers is a nice little picnic area along with the hiking or walking trails. Here's one of the trails that goes down this side of the lake, you can see. Um, tiny little arboretum-like thing up there, as well as, uh, as, well as this neat little covered uh, log cabin-esque type thing. And that's how close we are to the lake, it's just right here. If you happen to have your own uh, kayaks or some other kind of board they're gonna charge you five bucks to use the uh, landing spot down by 
the uh, eating area, the cabin area. But if you look over my shoulder here, there is this ramp down. Uh, if you got someone to help you, if yours is too heavy, that is uh, free that you can just walk on down to the side of the lake. All right, I've got one. What's that? <laughs> All right, so what's the best food here? Really? All right. Double? With bacon. All right. Good to know. How much? Okay. With fries. Ooh. All right. Got it. Thank you. Okay. So, this is my son David and my granddaughter Olivia. This is her first time out fishing, which is going to be a ball. Hopefully, she doesn't go swimming. So she understands it's cold? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna go get Sarah, who's my, my other co-pilot today in the rowboat, and we'll give it a shot. Cold, cold, yeah, I told you. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. So I thought I'd take a quick walk through the rental kayaks real quick. So you can see they're not, not bad for rentals, pretty new single person and two person. Aha, and there's Sarah. I knew she was here somewhere. Ready to go? All right. Well, let's do it. lodge with a well I guess you can call it a lodge it's a small cabin with um, food and goodies well also the place where you rent the rowboat two sizes of rowboat small ones big ones big ones are pretty new I like it they're nice and stable all right we can unchain in just a moment oh look who we got coming up on us right now hello Olivia Yes, you're in the boat. Woohoo! What do you think? Olivia, smile, baby. Hello. Hi, Olivia. Oh, she's just having too much fun. All right, here we go. We're gonna cast off and follow you.
as you can see, we're just rigging up our poles right here. We had some bicyclers go by. Dad, you have some fishing line on. That's okay, sweetie. Don't worry, there's no hook. So you can see the lava flows come right down into the water, which makes this really pretty. And you can walk all the way around the lake uh, as well as ride bikes if that's what you'd like to do. Uh, from what I've seen, riding bikes around this lake are uh, a little, it might be a little bit more challenging. Um, it's not an easy path, but walking it's easy. I've seen lots of people do that with their families. But the bicycles tend to be a little bit more the off-road kind. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and rig up and give this a try. Say hello, Sarah. Hi. There we go. You guys, uh, David, Olivia, you guys want some sunblock? All right, come on over. Okay. What's daddy rigging up? Daddy is rigging up a teeny tiny itty bitty little foot. You probably can't see. And it's a very thin two pound line that was mentioned a few ago. All right. Well, we'll see who wins. I have a feeling those tiny salmon eggs are gonna do it, but uh, I'm a diehard when it comes to fly fishing, so we'll give it a try. Okay, so while everybody else is rigging up at the other boat, I'll take you a look. Uh, last week we were out here, not far from, just around this point. There was only one guy knocking him dead as far as catching fish, and he was using little, or actually medium-sized red nymphs, and about every third cast he was landing trout. Uh, it's the fish are a little odd at this lake they're very sensitive which is why people recommend the two pound line so over the week this is what I tied up I'm gonna give this a try next of course if I'm crying by the end of the show you'll know that I got it wrong um, otherwise it's this little guy he's got a heavy bead head on him bright red not what I would normally tie up normally you'd pick colors that match the insects around here but sometimes you know you just got to pick the thing that uh, is completely different that uh, the fish aren't used to seeing so we'll find out uh, and then of course if things get frustrating we'll go for red for one of these guys uh, we'll see what happens Another shot from another spot in the lake. You can see again those beautiful lava fields coming down. There's actually a neat path that goes right over that big high uh, set of lava fields for bicycles and people. Same one that we saw earlier, just stretching all this way. You can see the lodge way down there. And there's, of course, out that way, David and Olivia. We haven't had any luck on fish yet but we have seen a few caught by other people. Um, mostly on spinning reels. Haven't seen anybody on flies today. Last time we were out, the only person catching fish was flies. So they're just enough to drive you crazy, of course. Oh. Is it in the water there, sweetheart? Well, you can't scare him away now. He's hooked. Getting a shot of it.
All right, so it looks like the salmon eggs worked. We got two, one, our first fish on two, a tiny little hook and two little yellow uh, salmon eggs. So we'll give it a try again, see what we can do. We don't have much time left. Well, things have changed. It's become uh, less breezy and everything's nice and smooth. This is kind of the wet uh, we remember from the first time that we came here. Everything's glass smooth and, and beautiful. Well, almost glass. Wind's barely going now, and now that the wind stopped, the fish are starting to jump. So it always gets a little more exciting and frustrating. Exciting because you know you're here. Frustrating because they just don't like you and want to get in your boat with you. Still, all this distance. Oh, you're going for the photo. I thought you were doing electronics, so you had to be on it. But nope, you're using it for photos. You're awesome, Sarah. I'm trying to get the duckies. Yeah, they're beautiful. Getting a bath. Look how clear the water is, that log underwater. It's amazing. All right, well, it was fun. Uh, one fish, at least we didn't get skunked. That's something, right? It was real thin line and two little yellow salmon eggs. Boy, I hope someday I can catch something on the fly here though. I watched the one guy doing it last time. He limited out, oh, that's so frustrating. A beautiful lake, whether you're fishing or not, just beautiful. Um, the clear water, they've got diving ducks here, mallards, they've got ospreys that come down, snatch up fish. Uh, it's quiet, you can hear people talking from across the lake because there's no motors allowed. It's just a pretty place. So, and again, we're talking about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on kind of what's happening on the road. But a uh, great place to come if you're looking for something to do. We spent about four hours and turned out fantastic. Um, there's still some restaurants, not many, pretty close to here within 10 miles. Uh, there is the small one here, and as you saw, uh, $10 burgers, double for cheeseburgers, not bad with fries. Um, beyond that, if you want to make a full day of it, uh, you could always stop by again. Kusha, Saheli Falls, Belknap Hot Springs. There's a few things to do up and down on the way. So, uh, again, if you're looking for something to do while you're in the service center and you want to get out and see some of the fun. Here you go.